Well, this week I don't have much of an update on the generator because I am currently going through my shop and completely tearing it apart, gutting it, pulling all the tools out and everything and reorganizing everything because I'm bringing in my Stinson airplane so I could start restoration work on that and uh, a future power plant system for that. So until then, that's what's going on in the shop. I should be able to get to the generator uh, this next week because I'm pretty much wrapped up on cleaning the place. So. So that brings me to this week's video. I actually really wanted to go over why it is I am putting a generator in the Hilux. And no, I'm not against EVs all of a sudden. No, I'm not, you know, suddenly hating electric cars. I've been doing electric cars for about 15 years now. And just electric vehicles in general with e-bikes and all sorts of different things and RC aircraft and you name it. But anyway, that brings me to the point of why I'm doing this now. I built the Hilux about two and a half years ago now, and the truck has been awesome. It, the power on it is insane. It has a 33 kilowatt hour battery pack in it, and that gets me about 65 honest miles uh, around there of range, um, which isn't that great. And a lot of it has to do with these tires that are on it, which, you know, is what it is. I, I like the wheels that are on it, and I'm not going to change that. And two, its aerodynamics are less than adequate for um, high speed. So, you know, there's a lot of things going against it. And when it comes to a lot of these custom EVs, uh, they're going to be facing a lot of the same problems. So that's why I started thinking about doing a range extender. And basically, I keep using the word range extender because that's what was on my BMW i3. Uh, they called it a Rex range extender. You know, it's just a name. It's it's really just a generator. Um, but I set that i3 up to where I could drive it basically indefinitely on fuel. Um, and that was really awesome to be able to do that. It, it was a great option to be able to use it as an EV most of the time and that's the thing is like I'll be using this truck as an EV most of the time and it, it actually it charges off the Sun most of the time it's right now it's charging off of my off-grid system and back in my shop it's also off-grid so most of the time it's driving off of pure sunlight but there are those times where I really need to have a generator just to push it that extra leg and get it to where it needs to go. Like today, I towed with it. Uh, I have another Hilux cab on a trailer here, and that's really the only time that I need it to work um, as far as going farther than that 60 miles, and especially when I'm towing with that, uh, that, you know, extra weight and extra wheels on the ground, it's probably like 40 or 50 miles, maybe. So just horrible range, um, but that's okay. So another aspect I wanted to cover on this is why don't I just why didn't I just stick an LS or a small block Chevy in this truck? Because they have about the same horsepower and torque as the small drive unit. And the big reason is because I don't think there's a small block Chevy or, or LS that can get close to 50 miles of the gallon. And that's kind of the goal with this is I'll have that horsepower and torque that the small drive unit puts out, but when the generator is running, it will be doing roughly uh, calculated about 42 to 50 ish miles of the gallon and the way that I got that number is I know that the truck gets two and a half miles to three miles per kilowatt hour uh, of range and with that being said the generator the Kubota puts out 18 and a half uh, 18.9 kilowatts and over an hour that's 18.9 kilowatt hours that it generates and when it's running at that RPM and that power, uh, from what I'm reading, it burns about a gallon of fuel per hour. So that tra translates to one gallon being 18.9 kilowatt hours of energy that I can extract from the engine. Now going through the generator and the inverter and all that stuff, I calc about a 10% loss in energy there. So that brings me right to 17 kilowatts of 400 volt power that I'm getting right from the generator. So that being said, 
it puts me around that 42 to 50 ish mile gallon mile per gallon range which is nuts that's freaking crazy that something with this aerodynamics and those tires can even get close to that with that much power and torque coming out of the motor so there is that aspect and and I don't know yet if that's real that's just what mass says and what paper says but you know this stuff has to get played out to see if it actually pans out to that or not so we'll find out so with that thanks for watching for this week uh, again next week I'll be getting back into doing the generator setup um, and hopefully get that thing in the truck really soon I want to have it physically sitting in here uh, pretty soon so that I could start wiring it up and doing all the fun fun parts of uh, wiring up the generator so until then thanks for watching uh, hope I'll see you on the next one thanks